This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely hit subscribe and the notification bell before we go any further and you realize how fucking garbage this content is. But if this is not your first time on the channel, welcome back, you absolute fucking loser. Seriously, do you not have anything better to do with your time? But in either way, I suppose I should say thank you very much for coming along. I do genuinely appreciate it. Now, by virtue of the fact that you've clicked on this video, you should probably have an idea of what it's about. But maybe you're one of them people who's not really paying attention to your phone and you're just being auto-played. Well, you might as well stick around, right? Today, we are here to learn about Splite. That's right, Splite. And I hate saying that word, but that's what it's called. At least that's what it's called in the OCG. We don't actually have the TCG name yet at the time of recording. That may well change because, trust me, these videos take fucking forever to edit and get ready. But hopefully not. And hopefully it makes sense to all of you sat at home. So this video aims to teach you how to play Splite. Well, not in any real depth, but at least give you a basis from which to work. Or maybe just even better equip you for being sat at the other side of the table playing against the deck. Like I say, with all these things, it is just a baseline. There'll be people out there who go into super detail, competitive players, all that kind of thing, who will go over all of this in detail, which I'm too fucking lazy to do. So I'll do what I can for you. Hopefully it'll set you up well and send you on your merry way to go see the other guys so that they can teach you in some real detail. So if bite size is what you want, then bite size is what you're going to get. It's going to be a how to play tutorial on the very basics. Now, if you're looking to pick up some Yu-Gi-Oh! singles, consider checking out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. They're also my teammates, so it'd be great to support them, support the team, and support the channel. Use the code RUFIO15, link down in the description, and you'll get yourself a nice discount on your eBay order. But anyway, that's most certainly enough waffling on from me. Let's get stuck in to the video. Splite is set to debut into the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG in Power of the Elements, which is currently slated for an August 2022 release. A set which looks like it's got a ton of really cool stuff, but most importantly of all, it has the Moki Moki archetype. The Splite archetype is made up of Dark and Fire Thunder monsters, which all come in level, rank, or link 2. And they're based off of sprites, a fairy-like creature in folklore, as well as influence from the electrical phenomena, also of the sprite namesake. The Splite monsters look like stupid little fucking humanoid beings of either blue or red plasma, and the main deck monsters all have zodiac symbols on them. Something that links together themselves and the Therian and Springans archetypes. There's also some sort of weird link between the Splite monsters and the upper atmospheric lighting, with each one being linked to each of these types of events. You can go look up their names if you want to see something really cool. Now if you've made it this far into the video, and I hope sincerely that you have, there are still many questions to seek answers to. And two of the most important of these are whether the deck is indeed a good one to play, such as being competitively viable, and how indeed does the deck play? Well, the answer is very good. I suppose that somewhat dresses both parts, although maybe I'm taking some liberties with applying that answer. But let's start off with the playstyle. And the playstyle is centered around supporting the level, rank, and link to monsters. Each of the main deck splites can special themselves from hand if they already control a level 2 monster, a rank 2 monster, or a link 2 monster. They additionally have a second varying effect which includes the likes of searching more cards or offering negations. The main big boys here are Gigantic Splite and Splite Elf. With Gigantic being a rank 2 Dark Thunder XE monster, that can also be XE'd summoned using the link 2 monsters the pilot controls as material. And it can also special summon a level 2 from deck, giving you the option to easier get into another level 2 based engine, such as the likes of frogs. Splite Elf is a link to Fire Thunder Monster and protects the cards that it points to, and it can also special a level 2 from the graveyard, with the possibility of even summoning back a rank or a link 2 instead. The spells for the deck give a ton of cool options, including the likes of Extension and Removal. The deck, however, does operate under two locks that the player kind of has to stick within, but really it doesn't affect the deck too much, and probably serves to prevent this just being splashed into absolutely everything. 
There is, however, one restriction that the deck provides that doubles up as protection, because some absolute fucking Giga Brain gave the deck a card that literally says you cannot be nibiru It is safe to say that the deck has seen some interesting results at the time of recording the video, with variants of the deck absolutely whomping the OCG and seeing ever-increasing popularity to boot. Generally speaking, the kind of standard opening will get to a totally awesome on the field along with an elf, allowing a player to use Toad's Negation, bringing it back with the else effect to give a secondary go at the card. This is usually backed up with the likes of Red and Carrot, which will usually see some sort of input, offering additional negates. It is, however, not all sunshine and rainbows. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. And it wouldn't be fair to give you in a how to play tutorial just how to play the deck, but also some ideas on how to beat it too. The likelihood is that Nibiru will go back to whatever space hole it crawled out of. I'm looking at you, Dimensional Fisher. You better chill out before you start making me act up. But in exchange, we'll probably see the likes of Vela and Impa more and more in the format, as well as Ogre seeing continued play and presence. After all, using Ogre on the gigantic Splite second effect kills a huge part of the deck's main line of play. It may also be sensible to expect to start seeing Cherries seeing play again in mirror matches. We really have gone full circle, haven't we? So for this next part of the video, we're going to be taking a look at the cards for the deck, and then a little later on we'll touch on some non-archetype support and engines that work well in conjunction with the deck. Now it is worth mentioning at this point that the deck has not been confirmed into the TCG, so names and effect text may vary slightly on release. So if you're watching from the future, please keep this in mind. In order to save some time, I'll be trying to read the cards in a somewhat shortened manner. Not to worry though, I'll show translations on screen, although given you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player, we both know you probably won't be reading a fucking thing. Lastly, I should say a quick shout out here to Alan Mack, whose deviant art I lifted these images from. You're the real MVP. Please go check out his good work. So we start off with Splite Blue. You can special summon it from hand if you control a level or rank 2. And if it's special summoned, you can search a Splite from deck except for another copy of Blue. Each of these effects you can use once per turn. And of course, they're naturally a hard once per turn. Following on from that, we have Splite Carrot. You can special it if you have a level or link to monster on the field. When the opponent activates a spell or trap, you can quick effect, tribute another level or rank or link to to negate the effect. And if it was a rank or link you tributed, you can also destroy that card. Each effect is a hard once per turn. Following on from that, we have Splite Jet. If you control a level or rank two, you can special summon it from hand. If it's special summoned, you can search a Splite spell or trap. Each effect is a hard once per turn. Next up is Splite Pixies. If you control a level or rank 2, you can special summon it from the hand. During damage calculation, if another level, rank, or link 2 battles an opponent's monster, you can, quick effect, send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard to boost your monster by the same current attack and defense as that opponent's monster until the end of the turn. Each effect is a hard once per turn. Next up, it's Splite Red. If you control a level or link 2, you can special summon it from the hand. You can, quick effect, tribute another level, rank, or link 2 to negate an opponent's activated monster effect. However, if you tribute a rank or link 2, you can also destroy it as well. Each of these is a hard once per turn. Now on to the extra deck goodness. We've got Gigantic Splite up next. It requires two level 2 monsters to make, but for a tech seed summon, you can also use link 2s and treat them as level 2 as well. If this card has an extra deck monster as material, its original attack is doubled. And during the main phase, you can activate this effect. Neither player can special summon except for level, rank, or link 2s. Also, detach a monster, and if you do, special summon a level 2 from deck. It's worth noting that this is not a cost, but part of the effect. And this particular effect is a hard ones per turn. And lastly, for our monsters, we have Splite Elf. It requires two monsters, including a level, rank, or link 2. It can't be used as link material for the turn that it is summoned. Your opponent can't target monsters it points to with card effects. And during the main phase, quick effect, you can target a level 2 in your graveyard, or a rank or link to instead if your opponent already controls a monster, and then special summon it. This effect is a hard ones per turn. Next up, it's the spells and traps. So we'll start off with Splite Gamma Burst. All level, rank, and link 2s on the field gain 1400 attack and defense until the end of the turn. 
During your main phase, you can banish this card from the graveyard, then boost a level, rank, or link 2 you control by 1400 attack until the end of your opponent's turn. You can only use one of these effects per turn, and only once that turn. Next up, it's Splite Smashers. You can banish a Springen, Therian, or Splite card from your hand or graveyard, then activate one of these effects. You can special summon a Springen's monster from your deck. You can special summon a Therian monster from your graveyard. Or you can banish a Link, Rank, or Level 2 you control, and also one card your opponent controls. That's non-targeting, by the way. You can only activate one copy of Splite Smashers per turn. And next up is the aptly named Splite Starter. This allows you to special summon a Splite from deck, and then you lose life points equal to its original attack. For the rest of the turn after it resolves, however, you're locked into level, rank, and link to monsters, and you can only activate one copy of Starter per turn. Now this does conclude our list of current known in-archetype cards for the Splite deck. However, we're going to move on to some external support for the deck as well. The most notable ways that this deck has seen play in the OCG has been in conjunction with both Frog and the Live Twin archetypes, both offering a slightly different way to push the deck, but giving potent methods of pushing the deck to its limits. However, in terms of some other cards you might like to consider, primarily these only really work into monsters, I haven't discovered many spells and traps to back it up. However, the likes of Silvervine Senri, Link Infra Flyer, Sambel the Summoner, and Caligo Claw Crow can offer some really cool options for monster backup. For this next part of the video, we're going to do a quick rundown of a basic combo tutorial, just so you've got some ideas of where to get started with the deck, give yourself a basic understanding of how it works, and of course you can apply all the additional bits when you add your other archetypes along the way. Again, this is not going to be anything too super in-depth, but it will give you some ideas of where to go.
Now for this final part of the video, I've got some deck lists here for you to take a look at. Of course, credit where it's due on these, and I'll give credit to those where they've come from. However, these are all, of course, going to be OCG deck lists because, well, the deck's not here yet. So this should give you some ideas, of course, do keep in mind. Their format is very slightly different to ours, and in fact, many ways that can impact some of your card choices, but it should give you some ideas of where to start off so you can start building out your own decks for testing online and the like. And that door lists is all for today's video. Thank you very much for coming along and making it this far into the video. You're one of the few who actually has enough about you to make it this far. Hopefully by virtue of the fact that you made it this far into the video, you have enjoyed it enough to have hit subscribe, or at least hate it enough that you couldn't possibly look away. In either case, thank you very much for making it this far into the video. Once again, I do genuinely appreciate it. Now, if you're someone who is new to the channel, we do a whole bunch of other stuff on here. Deck profiles, combo tutorials, locals vlogs, regionals vlogs, YCS vlogs when we ever get them again, and all of that other good stuff. So if you're into your Yu-Gi-Oh nonsense, definitely stick around. Make sure you hit that red button and make sure you don't miss out. Or maybe even hit the notification bell if you're really, really a glutton for punishment. Once again, a massive thank you for making it this far. Hopefully you have learned something today. Thank you very much for coming along, and I will see you in the next one.